Thanks for checking out this video. So this is just one of my kind of, you know, unscripted, no notes kind of opinion pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you why I don't watch movie trailers. Because I do get a lot of questions from time, well, not a lot, but here and there I get questions where people are like, hey, did you see the trailer for this? Or what do you think about this movie coming out? So there are a few aspects to it. The first thing is I love the element of surprise when it comes to film, and I love going into films blind. So majority of the time, I'm not just not watching the trailers, I'm also usually not reading the little, you know, one or two sentence synopsis on, you know, Shutter or on IMDb or wherever. So I like to go into films blind. Sometimes that means I go off of like a cover art image for the film, or just someone said online this film is good. But a majority of the films I actually just go in totally blind not having heard anything. So I feel like that has a lot of reward to it potentially. Yes, it also has a lot of um, risk to it as well. Where you can go into it and be like, oh, you know, maybe this will be good. And it's just garbage and you're just very upset about it. But the it kind of makes the hires even high. You know, the lows can be pretty low, but the hires are the highs are even higher when you go into a film with absolutely no expectations, not knowing anything about it, and you come out with something good to great. So that just, I don't know, I just enjoy that. I enjoy not knowing anything about a film and going into it like that. One of my other problems with trailers is that they have a tendency, especially nowadays, and they didn't used to be like this, but over the last decade, well, two decades or so, They've gotten to a point where they just show way too much and they give away so much about the actual story and especially with like comedy films uh, they have a tendency to show the funniest parts of the film so that when you finally see it you're not laughing because you've already seen the funny parts and there's nothing else funny in there. You know, granted, there are plenty of films where there's still a lot of good content that you haven't seen, but there certainly are those films where all the good stuff's in the trailer and then you watch the film and you're like, well, I already saw all the good stuff and everything else was garbage. So <clears throat> big disappointment. So it ruins the viewing experience for that reason, for me personally. So that takes it to another point that I have is trailers have a tendency a lot of the times to make films look a lot better than they are. And for that reason, it sets a high expectation, at least for me when I see them of, man, this is going to be awesome. That looks so cool. I'm so excited. I don't want that because when something's hyped up, whether it's coming from another person or from yourself or, you know, what you saw in a trailer, it sets a high expectation that even if you're you're not aware of it, you kind of like subconsciously set this expectation of it at least being good. And then if it's not great or it's not at the level that you thought it would be good because, oh my God, that trailer looks amazing and then it didn't turn out to be an amazing film, but it's a good film, you still have a level of disappointment. Whereas with that film, if you hadn't seen the trailer, you knew nothing about it, then maybe you feel better about the fact that it was just a good film and not a phenomenal film because you didn't know anything going into it about what it was going to look like or, you know, what the content was. So yeah, then there's the other side of things where a trailer can end up being poorly put together, so much so to the point where uh, it would deter you potentially from seeing the film because you're like, that doesn't look very good, but you're really missing out because the actual film is a lot better than that. And a lot of times I feel like those are the trailers where they're actually trying not to give too much away. So they're giving you bare bones. And then once you actually watch it, you're just like, oh, they really kind of like held back in the trailer because they wanted people to have a better experience with actually watching the film. So those are kind of like my big things. I will say that uh, Rob Zombie, you know, I should have said this in the film or the film, the video, <laughs> the video I put out about my thoughts on Rob Zombie. And I forgot to say this is he is someone who actually believes in not giving a whole lot away in trailers, and he actually doesn't like uh, movie trailers, but he has to do them. So he intentionally doesn't give a whole lot away. He'll have a lot of images in there, but it's not much about actual story in his trailers. So that's a great thing. So big ups to him for doing that, basically. Nobody uses that phrase, by the way. Erase the fact that I just said big ups. That's a man. Wow. Wow. I don't know where that came from. But anyway, uh, so awesome on Rob Zombie for doing that, for, for not trying to put too much out there. So that's kind of my feelings on trailers. Now, I'm fine with the fact that other people want to watch trailers because there are people who like to get excited about films. 
And to some degree, I do miss that a little bit because I used to watch trailers a lot when I was younger. Mainly when I was in college, I started going to websites that specifically just have trailers on them to just watch as many trailers as possible to be like, ooh, I need to see that film. This one's exciting, you know, and like get myself worked up because some trailers really are, you know, a piece of art in, the, in their own right. You know, even if the film doesn't live up to it, it's its own piece of artwork. Uh, and, you know, there have been times where I just watch cert, have watched in the past certain trailers multiple times just because I think the trailers are good, even if I don't think the film is all that great or if the trailer's better than the film or it was just a terrible movie. But, yeah, so that's my feeling on it. So I don't make any judgments on people who want to watch trailers because everyone likes to experience film in different ways. So if that doesn't affect you, like, expectations-wise by watching trailers, and it doesn't bother you if you see too much of the film, that's good. It's just, for me personally, it's not something I like. I really like to go in as blind as possible with a lot of films, but, you know, sometimes you can't avoid it. So sometimes I actually do end up just happening to see trailers, like, prime example, when I'm watching Joe Bob Briggs, you know, The Last Drive-In with Joe Bob Briggs. In between his two films that he covers... Shutter will play two trailers for stuff on their streaming service. And I don't look away for that. You know, like if a trailer starts in front of me, I do have a hard time looking away from it and not paying attention to it because trailers are made to grab your attention, to keep your interest for however many minutes it is. So I do watch those. A lot of the times, thankfully, they're trailers of films I've already seen before because a lot of them end up being their Shutter exclusives and originals that I've already watched screeners for and already put reviews out for. So, or not put them out, at least compose them and schedule them to come out. So thankfully that. But I do see trailers accidentally from time to time. I don't shy away from them if they're already showing in front of my face. And actually, when I was going to the movie theater, I did really enjoy seeing the trailers before the films. Uh, so I would do it in those occasions as well. But for the most part, I don't seek out trailers. I don't like to watch them because of expectation purposes. But I would like to hear what everyone else has to say. You know, how do you feel about it? Are you huge on trailers? Is that a thing that you love to do? Or do you also just avoid trailers? Or are you even, you know, more uh, on the of the opinion of not watching trailers than I am and you just 100% avoid trailers I these are the things I want to know I want to know how people experience these and I and also are there aspects of the trailers that I've missed uh good and bad go ahead and put it down there so let's talk about it um put it in the comments but do me a quick favor hit that subscribe button if you like this video or of any video I have ever done also if you have certain topics for these random videos where I'm just kind of talking about my opinion on things, go ahead and put it in the comments. You know, what would you like me to talk about in particular? Um, you know, maybe there's really nothing and you don't really want to hear me talk about this stuff all that much. But if there's something that comes to mind like, oh, I'd love to hear your opinion on this or that, that'd be cool. I I could put it on my list to get to. But please hit the subscribe for me. It really does help my channel. It keeps me motivated. That's the other big thing because I have a problem in my life with motivating myself for me, but I'm pretty motivated for other people. It's just kind of, it's a weird thing, but can't really explain it. But uh, also hit the uh, notification bell button because then you'll know whenever I'm putting up any new videos, whether it's an opinion piece like this or one of my in-depth film reviews, unboxings, all that. Regardless, I really do thank you for taking your time to watch this. And until next time, keep it brutal.